We begin TVC News at 10 from the nation's capital, where the 2024 budget is ready and will be presented to the National Assembly this week for appropriation. This budget is 1.5 trillion naira increase from the 2024 to 2026 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper approved by the National Assembly. The Minister of Budget and Economic Planning explains the reason behind some adjustments in the budget approved by the Federal Executive Council. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Agonde reports. The 2024 federal budget will come with a lot of expectations from Nigerians, especially as it will be the first annual budget of the Bola Tinubu administration as it gets set to begin full implementation of the Renewed Hope Agenda. Please. The Federal Executive Council deliberated on and approved a spending plan of 27.5 trillion naira for 2024. But the Minister of Budget and Economic Planning announced that the crude oil benchmark is now pegged at $77.96 and the naira to dollars exchange rate is now 750 naira to one dollar. decision was to use an exchange rate of 750 naira to a dollar and also a benchmark crude oil reference price of 77 dollar 96 cents meaning four dollar more than the earlier approval this will significantly increase revenue government revenue the minister of finance and coordinating minister of the economy minister says economy. there is already a provision for a budget support loan of one billion dollars that will be provided by the africa development bank president bola Tinubu listened to the update provided by the presidential fiscal policy and tax reforms committee when they briefed the federal executive council on progress recorded so far it is to support the government's program overall, but, but particularly in its regulatory framework um, for the power sector, um, strengthening social inclusion, um, the all important domestic resource mobilization, you tax committee and the fiscal policy um, reform efforts that are going on. The Ministry of Aviation got approvals for two memos submitted to Council, one of which is an award of contract for the purchase of customized explosive and narcotic screening systems for international airports in the country. What seems to have caught the attention of everyone is a revelation by Festus Keamu on why the Nigeria Air Project has not taken off. He says a bad deal was struck between the Buhari administration and Ethiopia Air. And now we have looked at all the issues and it's before Mr. President. But let me just give one or two snippets because of Nigerians who are, you know, very, you know, uh, who are quick to judge. In the agreement, you are giving tax waivers to Ethiopian airline coming into Nigeria. They, they asked for tax waivers for five years. Are you granted them? to come and compete with your local airlines who are paying those heavy taxes. How? You want to create a monopoly. The president is expected to lay the budget on the floor of the National Assembly this week. And hopefully, the National Assembly will do due diligence and pass the appropriation bill into law. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. President Bola Tinubu has approved the appointment of a new board and management team for the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, with effect from 1st December 2023. According to Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Ajurin Gelali, this is in compliance with Section 59, Subsection 2 of the Petroleum Industry Act 2021. They include Pius Akinye Lure, non-executive board chairman, Mele Kiari as Group Chief Executive Officer, Omar Ajia, Chief Financial Officer, and Ledu Miti as Non-Executive Director. Others are Musa Tumsa as Non-Executive Director, Galil Muhammad, Non-Executive Director, Professor Mustafa Aliyu, Non-Executive Director, and David Obodo as Non-Executive Director. 
while others are Eunice Thomas as non-executive director. The president also approved the appointment of two permanent secretaries, Okokon Ekane Mudo, as permanent secretary, Federal Minister of Finance, and Ambassador Gabriel Aduda, permanent secretary, Federal Minister of Petroleum Resources. I'm now being joined on the news by TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde to discuss the 2024 budget estimate approved by FERC and other matters from the State House. Femi, let's begin with uh, the budget estimate. It's about 1.5 trillion naira uh, higher than the medium term expenditure framework as approved by the National Assembly. Tell us more about that. Well, uh, that's what was announced by the Minister of um, Budgets and Economic Planning, telling us about some significant changes in the budget, especially uh, the benchmark for our crude oil per barrel was jacked up. The exchange rate, uh, it's now jacked up to 750 uh, Naira to $1 as against a 700 Naira that was contained in the 2024-2026 uh, uh, medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper. The minister explained that all of this is in line with current um, realities because they also had to uh, go back to the drawing board and consider uh, some indices before uh, coming up with these new figures, which uh, will now be reflected uh, in the MTF uh, moving forward. That is the 2024 to 2026 uh, spending plan of uh, spending uh, proposal of President Bola Tinubu's administration. I know he is also saying that you know this would also be the first spending plan, the annual spending plan for President Bola Tinubu's administration that would help uh, the government um, begin the full implementation of the Renewed Hope Agenda, which uh, President uh, Paula Tinubu uh, campaigned with and has assured that uh, once elected, which he is now, as, which he is now the president, uh, he will uh, implement uh, all of those adversity. All right, Femi, and about that new appointment that Mr. President has announced, you know, a lot of attention will be on the oil sector, uh, especially for some of these funds that we need to finance uh, the budget. Tell us more about that list. Well, it's, um, Mr. President was just exercising his right as President and Commander-in-Chief with all of these appointments into boards, parastatals, and uh, agencies. And this is just one out of many the President has done and some he will still do in the coming days. Well, the, uh, that of the NNPC Limited is uh, quite important because you know how uh, this uh, Complaint contributes significantly to the country's GDP. You know how heavily reliant Nigerians are on the LNPC for fuel consumption and all that has to do with oil and gas because they are, they play a major role in that sector. Uh, before they used to play like a regulatory role, but since um, the signing of the petroleum uh, industry and uh, that role has been reduced, but you know the NNPC's role in that sector cannot uh, yes, still uh, be overemphasized. Yeah. Yes, Fermi. Thank you so much for that update from Abuja.